today, 21st March 2017, we are here at Bugema University celebrating World Water Day, World Forest Day and World Meteorological Day. The event has been organized by the Ministry of Water and Environment. On a day like this, we aim to draw public attention and awareness to the key issues that affect the environment and our water resources. Specifically this year for the World Water Day, we have the theme called wastewater. And under this, we are urging people to use water sparingly and wisely. But as everybody is aware, water is a finite resource. If we don't use it well, we shall soon be water stressed. So we are stressing that message and encouraging members of the public to use their water sparingly and wisely. have been earmarked by the global community, by Ugandans, and we are here celebrating to highlight the issues around water, around meteorology, around forestry. Particularly for World Water Day, we want to, to raise concern of government, of partners, of communities, and everybody out there about issues of water and wastewater, particularly as the theme for this year for World Water Day goes. The theme is wastewater. It's not enough for us to have water, but we should also know that when we have water, at the end of the channel there is wastewater. How do we deal with it so that the environment is managed sustainably? I feel we should not even lose a drop. Water which is given by God, it comes from rain, we should have it instead of wasting it away. We collect it in some way for people to use, like for washing, for drinking, for cooking, for domestic and some other activities. Yep. We've got participants from different parts of the country, mostly from around Luero district and communities surrounding Bugema University. We've got exhibitors, we've got students, we've got lecturers and professors, we have got political leaders, we have got parliamentarians, we've got very many people participating in this. The exhibitors are showing us what they do in their respective organizations. Some of them are educating us about water and sanitation, others are educating us about tree planting, others are educating us about hand washing. There's a whole wide range of messages coming from different stakeholders. We understand that uh, we've been hit by environmental changes and as we come for this day, we come together to share how different places, communities have, uh, have gone through this drought spell and we share ch the challenges we've gotten and make sure that probably we can have a way forward for our fellow Ugandans. Today we are celebrating World Water Day 1 because you can't wash your hands with soap when you don't have water. So we, we are trying to look at uh, what are some of those challenges that hinder hand washing. Water is uh, very key in washing hands with soap. So we are promoting hand washing in all the communities that we are working in to make sure that the, the little water that is available is used sparingly and at least we have enough for washing our hands with soap. And also about water, it's not just a matter of taking in, but we look at the chain. From the very can you use to collect the water, the process, all the way from maybe the shallow well, where you keep your water, the can that collects it should be clean enough. Because you may have water safe from the borehole, but then you collect it from a dirty can, it's already contaminated. So it should get into the knowledge of my fellow Ugandanese to know this safe water chain. Have your clean jerry can or can, get water from a clean source, have a better way of transporting it, and where you actually store it up to when it enters your mouth. Later on, we had speeches from key invited guests like members of parliament, the area leaders like the resident district commissioners, the local council five chairperson, the chief administrative officer, 
and from the guest of honor who was the Minister of Water and Environment, Honorable Sam Cheptoris. These celebrations come at a time when the country is experiencing drastic changes in weather patterns, characterized by long dry spells and a poor rainfall distribution, resulting in increased crop failures, livestock mortality, and a, and a famine, which are a consequence of man's destructive activities on the environment. It also comes at a time when our water resources are declining and our poor wastewater management is increasing waterborne diseases. The Ministry of Water and Environment is working hard to improve the availability and distribution of clean and safe water to communities all over the country and in Luero in particular. This is important because clean water is a basic human right and ensures that people are healthy and consequently alleviates poverty. A lot has to be done to encourage the communities to become more proactive and start harvesting rain water. This should start from the individual to household levels and from village to district levels. We should also embrace the catchment management planning approaches, which provide a holistic, a holistic framework for the safeguarding the water resources and the catchments. Lastly, I would like to urge everyone to take tree planting seriously and use water wisely as we fight the dangers of climate change. I wish all enjoyable celebrations of the World Forest Day, World Water Day, and the World Meteorological Day 2017. Water is a, a necessity, so it is, it is high time for every Ugandan to take uh, that courage and also uh, protect their water sources religiously. <laughs> Government has done a lot. Local governments have done a lot. Partners have done a lot. But even us as individuals, there is much we can do to conserve water, to use water sustainably, even in issues of wealth creation, and to help us to, to boost our productivity and also to improve our lives and living standards and health. To those that have not been able to come, the key message is please wash your hands with soap. Use the little water you have for better uses. And when I talk of better uses is uh, wash your hands with clean water and soap. And we emphasize the four critical junctures of washing hands. After visiting the latrine, before uh, eating food, after cleaning the baby's bottom, and also before uh, before eating food. We had such a colorful event. There was lots of entertainment from school children. There was a lot of dancing and performances. There were very good speeches with very good messages delivered by different officials. One of the most important messages that has been delivered to us today was that we should change our attitudes and start lo loving the environment that if man were not here, nature would be so beautiful. That message was emphasized by Honorable Sam Cheptoris, who urged us to protect the environment, protect our forests, plant more trees, in order for us to protect not just the environment, but on the whole, our water resources. <laughs>